Ever found yourself wondering why nutmeg and mace from a particular Indian village command such high prices? Here we are, embarking on a journey to a unique corner of the world, where nutmeg and mace are more than just spices. They're a tradition, a craft, a source of pride, and yes, pretty pricey. But as we'll soon discover, there's a compelling reason behind it. So fasten your proverbial seatbelts and grab your metaphorical magnifying glasses. Stay tuned as we unravel the mystery behind the most expensive nutmeg and mace. The village in question is nestled deep within the lush greenery of South India. Imagine a place where time seems to stand still, where the air is filled with the intoxicating aroma of spices, and the landscape is painted with a palette of vibrant green hues. This is the Indian village we speak of, a place where the world's most expensive nutmeg and mace are cultivated. Situated in the heartland of Kerala, a state known as God's own country, this village is a treasure trove of rich history and tradition. It's not just the geographic location that sets this village apart. It's the unique blend of climatic conditions and fertile soil that make it an ideal habitat for the cultivation of spices. The village is cradled by the Western Ghats, a mountain range that's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the eight hottest hotspots of biological diversity in the world. This natural fortress provides a buffer, protecting the village from harsh climatic conditions. The monsoon showers that grace this region keep the soil moist and fertile, perfect for the growth of nutmeg and mace. But the village isn't just about geographic marvels and ideal climatic conditions. It's the people and their rich history that add an extra layer of gold to this village. For generations, the villagers have been guardians of their spice cultivation heritage. The secrets of nurturing the nutmeg and mace, the art of picking the perfect spice, and the knowledge of when to harvest have all been passed down through generations. Spice cultivation here isn't a mere agricultural activity. It's a symphony that the villagers have mastered over centuries. It's a dance between nature and nurture, a balance between the elements of earth and the human touch. The village's history is steeped in tales of spice trade, of voyages to distant lands, and of the village's golden spice making its way to royal kitchens. Every tree, every spice in this village carries tales of a time gone by, tales that add to the richness of the spice itself. In this village, the cultivation of nutmeg and mace is not just a profession, it's a tradition. A tradition that has turned this humble village into the Indian village of gold. The farmers here are the backbone of this tradition and their methods are truly unique. Picture a tight-knit community of farmers, each one an artisan in their own right, working in harmony with the land. Their hands, hardened from years of toiling in the soil, are the silent guardians of a centuries-old tradition. Their knowledge of nutmeg and mace cultivation has been passed down through generations, like a cherished family heirloom. It's a legacy that they hold dear, a testament to their ancestral wisdom and resilience. Nestled in the heart of the Indian village, these farmers have perfected their craft over the years. They know the rhythm of the seasons, the whispers of the wind, and the language of the soil. They know when the nutmeg trees are ready to yield their precious bounty, when the mace needs to be delicately harvested. Their methods are not dictated by machines or modern technology, but by the rhythm of nature itself. The farmers' traditional cultivation techniques stand as a testament to the symbiotic relationship they share with the earth. It's in the way they manually till the soil, ensuring it's perfectly aerated to yield the best crop. It's in the way they use natural fertilizers like compost and cow manure to enrich the soil and boost the health of the nutmeg trees. It's in the way they handpick the nutmeg and mace at just the right time, ensuring each spice is at its peak of flavor and quality. Their methods may seem laborious and time-consuming to some, but for these farmers, it's a labor of love. Each nutmeg and strand of mace is a piece of their heritage, a piece of their heart. It's the love and dedication they pour into their work that make these spices truly special. So when you taste the rich, warm, and complex flavors of this village's nutmeg and mace, know that you're tasting a piece of history, a piece of tradition, and a piece of the farmer's heart. It's their dedication that lends these spices their extraordinary quality. Now you might be wondering what exactly goes into the crafting of nutmeg and mace. Let's embark on that aromatic journey. Nutmeg and mace come from the fruit of the Myristica fragrance tree, a tropical evergreen that's native to the Banda Islands of Indonesia, but also found in this Indian village we've been discussing. The fruit is a little like an apricot, with a fleshy outer layer and a hard pit in the center. But this isn't your ordinary fruit pit, it's a wonder of nature. Inside this pit is the nutmeg seed, and wrapped around it is mace, a lacy, bright red aril. 
Yes, you heard it right, nutmeg and mace are siblings from the same fruit. Now isn't that a spicy twist? Cultivation of these spices is a slow and patient process. The trees take seven to nine years to bear fruit, but once they start, they can produce for up to 60 years. Farmers nurture these trees, watching for the perfect moment when the fruit splits open, revealing the mace-covered nutmeg seed within. It's a sight that can make any spice lover's heart skip a beat. Harvesting these spices is an art form in itself. It requires a delicate touch and an experienced eye. The fruit is hand-picked by the farmers, ensuring that it is at the perfect stage of ripeness. This is where the real magic begins. Once the fruit is harvested, the outer layer is removed, and the mace is carefully separated from the nutmeg seed. The mace, still fresh and red, is gently flattened and laid out to dry. Over a number of days, it transforms from a vibrant red to a beautiful golden yellow. The nutmeg seed, too, is dried, but it's a longer process that can take up to two months. Then comes the final step, the grading process. Each spice is meticulously inspected and sorted based on size, weight, and quality. It's this attention to detail that ensures only the finest nutmeg and mace make it to your kitchen. But the journey doesn't end there. The spices are then packaged and transported, traveling thousands of miles from this humble Indian village to spice markets and gourmet stores around the world. Each packet of nutmeg and mace is not just a condiment, but a testament to the dedication and hard work of these farmers. So when you next sprinkle nutmeg on your latte or add a pinch of mace to your curry, remember the journey these spices have made. From the tropical trees in the Indian village, through the hands of skilled farmers, to your kitchen, these spices have been crafted with love and care. This painstaking process is what makes these spices so special. Quality always comes with a price, but why is this nutmeg and mace so expensive? Let's dissect this spicy enigma, shall we? First, it's imperative to understand that the cultivation of nutmeg and mace is an incredibly labor-intensive process. Each tree, lovingly nurtured by the farmers, takes a whopping seven to nine years to yield its first harvest. And once the tree starts producing, the work doesn't stop there. The fruits must be hand-picked one by one, cracked open to reveal the nutmeg seed wrapped in the vibrant mace. Each piece of nutmeg and strand of mace is then delicately separated, sun-dried and sorted, all by hand. You can imagine how much time, effort and patience goes into this craft, making labor one of the significant contributors to the cost. Secondly, the production of this golden spice is limited. The village, despite its passion and adept skills, can only produce so much nutmeg and mace each year. The trees need time to mature, the fruits need time to ripen, and the spices need time to dry. There's no rushing mother nature, and this slow, natural growth process ensures the distinctive, potent flavor that makes this spice so sought after. But with high demand and limited supply, the price naturally escalates. Finally, there's the superior quality to consider. The nutmeg and mace from this Indian village are unlike any other. They're bolder, richer, and more aromatic, a testament to the traditional methods employed and the pristine environment in which they're grown. This isn't your run-of-the-mill supermarket spice, this is a gourmet ingredient, a luxury item, and the price reflects that. So, as we peel back the layers of this spice story, it becomes clear that the cost isn't just about the spice itself, it's about the years of waiting, the hours of labor, the limited supply, and the exceptional quality. It's about a village's commitment to preserving a tradition, their respect for nature, and their passion for producing the best. In essence, the price reflects the effort and dedication that goes into each grain of nutmeg and strand of mace. But it's not just about the price tag, it's about the impact. Each nutmeg and strand of mace in this Indian village is a testament to tradition, culture, and the power of community. The high prices that these spices command are not just about their exceptional taste and quality. They are also about the transformational effect they have on the local economy and the lives of the farmers. Every sale of these high-priced nutmegs and mace contributes significantly to the local economy. It's like a chain reaction. The farmers earn more, leading to increased spending power. They invest in their children's education, improve their homes, and support local businesses. This ripple effect extends throughout the community, boosting the overall economy and creating a sense of prosperity. The farmers themselves experience a profound transformation. Once struggling to make ends meet, they now stand tall as guardians of a valuable tradition, earning a living that brings not just financial stability, but also a sense of pride and fulfillment. They are no longer mere cultivators. 
they are artists who skillfully craft some of the world's most expensive spices. Beyond the village, the high prices of these spices have a broader impact on the spice industry. They set a benchmark for quality, encouraging other farmers and producers to strive for excellence. They also highlight the value of traditional farming methods, which are often more sustainable and environmentally friendly than modern industrial techniques. However, the journey is not without its challenges. The high prices also bring high expectations. The farmers must continually strive to maintain the quality of their produce, while also adapting to changing market trends and consumer preferences. They are always on their toes, always learning, always growing. Despite these challenges, the farmers remain resilient. They understand that their work is not just about earning a living. It's about preserving a piece of their heritage, contributing to their community, and making a difference in the world. Every nutmeg and strand of mace they produce is a symbol of their dedication, their passion, and their commitment to quality. As we savor the rich, aromatic flavors of these spices, let us remember the hands that crafted them, the community that nurtures them, and the impact they have beyond the confines of our kitchens. These spices are not just ingredients, they are a lifeline for an entire community. So, there you have it, the story of the world's most expensive nutmeg and mace. We've journeyed to the heart of India, to a village that's paved its way in gold with the cultivation of these precious spices. We've met the guardians of tradition, the farmers who've upheld centuries-old methods of cultivation and processing, ensuring each nutmeg seed and strand of mace crafted here is nothing short of perfection. Remember how they toil under the sun, nurturing each tree, harvesting each fruit with a careful hand, and meticulously separating the nutmeg and mace? It's a labor of love, a dance between man and nature that transforms these humble spices into gold. And then, the crafting process. It's an art form in itself, one that requires patience, precision, and a deep respect for the craft. The farmer's hands, seasoned by years of practice, carefully extract each seed, each strand, preserving their delicate flavors and aromas, making them worth their weight in gold. We've also delved into the price of quality. The cost of these spices is steep, yes, but when you consider the meticulous effort and time invested, the price tag makes sense. A single nutmeg or strand of mace from this village is not just a spice, it's a piece of heritage, a slice of history, a testament to the unwavering dedication of these farmers. And finally, we've looked beyond the price tag. These spices, they're more than just commodities. They're symbols of a community's resilience, of its unwavering commitment to quality and tradition. Every nutmeg and mace that leaves this village carries with it the spirit of the land and the sweat and smiles of its people. So, the next time you sprinkle some nutmeg into your hot chocolate or add a pinch of mace to your curry, remember the journey these spices have taken. From the sun-kissed soils of an Indian village, through the careful hands of its farmers, to your kitchen. It's more than just a spice, it's a testament to the power of tradition, dedication, and quality.